Hello, this is Gata7, and today we are going to go over some alternate ways to export your model for Super Mario 64 DS. Now, first you're going to need the Model Pro Pack. Now, the only difference between this one and the other one is that it installs SketchUp Pro's exporter. So, run the executable installer. Again, hit next, accept the terms. Just go ahead and hit next, next, install. Once it finishes, just hit finish. And as usual, you can just control C these two files. Program files 86, Google, SketchUp 8, plugins. And you can replace them if not. But if you need to, just, just do that. Then you can just double click that or just type SketchUp and run that. Now let me go back to my tutorial file folder. Now you'll see that for me it says license, but you can just hit add license and the license is here in the license.txt. Username bag that you can just copy and paste. But you can see that I have the license right here. And it should work for you. If not, then you can just Google SketchUp 8 Pro licenses and you'll find something. You can just uncheck that if you want to. And you'll see that this is a lot different from or kind of different from the other one because we have a, we have kind of options here we have all these different types of ways to export now let's just build a model like no more all say like once again it's kind of the same principle do the select deleting zoom in zoom out all the controls are the same make sure this is reversed and now I'll be back after I'm done. I'll be back with an example of a built model and show you how you're going to manage that. Okay, and you'll see that I have uh, my model here. Now what's, inter what's different about this in the other tutorial is that in this one you always have to have everything have white faces. So just make sure everything has white faces. You can use the paint bucket as usual. And textures work the same. So let me just texture everything in this model for a second. Okay, and the model is like retextured and stuff. Now, I didn't make this model. This model was actually made by PyreDye1. So be sure to check that person out. But as you can see, it may be a little glitchy, like kind of laggy almost when you scroll around. So just be sure that you texture everything, otherwise they'll look weird. Now the huge advantage about using the SketchUp Pro exporter is that you do not have to reverse the if you remember you had to select everything and then you would have to flip along the green direction because the export this exporter tends to kind of mess up almost but here we can just export the file like 
normal, like export 3D model. Now another huge advantage about this is that it's a lot more organized. Like let's let me just put make a new folder for the sake of this. So I'm gonna call it model. Now I'll do this with an underscore and let's use the OBJ exporter and hit export. Just give it a minute to do its thing. And then it should work out successfully. Now let's check out the model. And you'll see that it's a lot more organized because it doesn't dump the textures and like everywhere. In fact, it makes its own mo thing for the textures. And it also exports them as BMP images. They are not indexed though, they are just regular BMPs. But you, you should be fine with them. You should be able to just import them if you fix the textures already. So usually you'd like to use the SketchUp Pro exporter, but with all that inside, outside, let's ex import this thing into the game. An interesting thing about the SketchUp exporter is that it always, almost always exports the model way too big. So usually you can expect your scales to look the same. Like they're usually like around, they vary, but usually they stay like the same. And yet this is still too big. Is this better? As always, just play around with the scale until you find something that works. Like, as you can see, this is way too big. And this is... Obviously, this whole thing isn't measured, and I'm not really measuring the model at the moment but for the sake of the tutorial let's just assume that's all good let me just put like something like 0.45 or and let's just say that's good now i'm going to import it to the game i'm not really going to put much work into the collisions and another bonus about using the sketchup exporter is that these collisions names are usually a lot simpler because it just goes in the name of materials and usually it's pretty easy to figure out which one is which. And it doesn't go by file name. But a downside to this is it usually exports the textures making the wrong way and you usually have to click the vertically flip all textures. Like, you wouldn't notice, like, the textures kind of are not really that noticeable, but you, they're upside down, and so they're usually import upside down, so you need to click that. And I'm going, and I'll go in game to show you how normal this model will be. And if you look at our model, which is imported, you can see it works pretty fine. And it works basically like always. Now if some places look glitchy, it's just because of the model I'm using. I didn't use Pyrodi's correct model of this level. It's kind of my fault. And of course that's happening because I never set up warp correctly. But yeah, everything is working like it should, which is which is good. Hope you guys enjoy this alternate tutor tutorial and I hope it's easier or not to use. And basically just use whatever method you're comfortable with.
you're more comfortable with the OBJ exporter, use that. Or if you're more comfortable with SketchUp's own exporter, you can go ahead then and use that too. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all later.